Off today at the state house where the state's five female senators helped stop a near total abortion ban from becoming law. News 19's Becky Budd spoke with two of the lawmakers today and has that story. They call themselves the sister senators. I love my sister senators. They are South Carolina's only female senators. Senator Mia McLeod, Senator Katrina Shealy, Senator Henry Gustafson, Senator Margie Bright Matthews, and Senator Sandy Sen. Three Republicans, one Democrat, and one Independent. They all come from different parties, different counties, and different races but they all share similar experiences. It's for those who want to be on the right side of history and want to truly make a difference and be a voice for their constituents. And that's who we are. That's who the five of us are. I think we feel very comfortable talking with one another, disagreeing with one another, and sharing um, openly with one another. They don't agree on every issue, including abortion. But on Thursday, they banded together to vote against legislation that sought to ban abortion from conception, with exceptions for rape, incest, fetal anomalies in the life of the mother. It's always about control, plain and simple. And in the Senate, the males all have con control. One by one, each of them took to the podium to talk about women's issues like pregnancy, birth control, sexual assault, and more. Once a woman became pregnant for any reason, she would now become property of the state of South Carolina if the Human Life Protection Act were coming to law. But guess what? Women are going to do what women want to do. The same way the lioness controls the den. In a 46-member chamber, largely dominated by men, they hope their actions this week send a message to get more women involved in politics for this state to see us in the way that they were able to see us come together on this particular issue is going to be a game changer. But it, it is frightfully obvious that we need more women. Uh, this is just simply about having more voices, like voices. Reporting in Columbia, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. A separate six-week ban already passed the Senate and could become law this session if the House passes the bill before it ends in six days. House Speaker Muriel Smith tells News 19 this week that the House is committed to protecting life.